Over 55,000 women in the UK are diagnosed with breast cancer each year. However, more women than ever are surviving the disease thanks to the better awareness, better screening and better treatments. Carrie Rush was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2018, but her severe fear of medical procedures is currently putting her life at risk. As far as I can remember, I've always hated needles and this kind of stuff. Like, I've always hated it, but it's got a lot, a lot, a lot, of, a lot worse. Literally now, even thinking about it makes me feel sick. I got a letter the other day from the hospital and I opened the letter and I just saw the word cannula and I literally just threw the letter on the floor. I just left it there. I just I had to go back later and collect it. I literally couldn't even read the word. I haven't really thought that much about having cancer because I'm just freaking out about how I'm going to do the treatment. Even the thought of going to a chemo ward and having to see other people with these drips is making me feel just awful. I actually don't know if I can go through with the treatment because of what I have to go through. So I was thinking maybe I just won't have the treatment, which is obviously stupid. We know how severe this case has the potential of being, so we invited Carrie to London to meet us for therapy. And to kick off, we needed to gauge her reaction to a needle. So if you imagine that going into... Oh, no. Not into the veins, no. Does that how we feel right now? It's so hard to describe it, but it just feels really, really uncomfortable. Carrie has a history of cancer in her family. Her own mother died from it, but not before Carrie witnessed some of her treatment. We believe this could be what her phobia stems from. I used to go in and visit her all the time, and then I do remember I stopped going to visit her. And I was only right, like 12 so or 13 or whatever age. So that, that's the thing there, because you say you were 13. The, the fact that you went to visit her, her initially yeah. tells us that you're OK. Yeah. And then the fact that you say that you stopped visiting her tells us that something happened within that period. Yeah. There was something that you saw that created this phobia. So maybe they were giving her something that I didn't want them to do to her. Maybe I saw that, I, I don't know. She would have been very distressed at the time because she knew that she That's was right. dying. I'm really convinced that this started with you seeing your mum in absolute distress. Yeah. And what that meant to you is that you will say, well, I never want to be in that situation. Unfortunately, Carrie's mum's cancer was terminal, but we needed to make her see that the equipment used in her treatment was not something to be feared. Nobody could save your mum's life no. at that point, but what they could do was make her comfortable. Yeah, that's very true, yeah. Your mum will have been administered morphine. Yeah. And it would have been in a vein. Would it? Absolutely. Whereas that was giving her peace. Yeah. And allowing her to stop the pain. You saw it as something entirely different. You saw it as something that was giving her pain and distress. A turning point for us was when we spoke to Carrie about another member of her family who suffered from cancer but survived through treatment. Your sister had cancer. Yes. How did she get over her cancer? She went to hospital and had the chemos and everything. Are you okay. glad that she did? Oh my God, yes, definitely, yeah. You are the one that actually should be more grateful to mm. cannulas and veins and procedures than any of us mm. because they're going to save me. They're going to save you. But they've saved, they've saved your sister. Yeah. And they gave your mum yeah. the best possible quality of life when her destiny was already marked. Yeah. There was no going back. Yeah. For over 40 years, Carrie blamed needles, cannulas and medical procedures for the pain she saw her mother endure during her cancer treatment. After only an hour in therapy, we've managed to change her perception so that she can confidently move forward with the life-saving treatment she so desperately needs. In the last few minutes, we've said cannula four, four or five times and you've not had that same response that you had. It's so weird. It's just so weird. So what did you used to be frightened of? Um, cannulas okay. and drips. Yeah. Oh, she's smiling. And needles. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And needles, yeah? Yeah. Just imagine that I had that in the eye. In the vein? I, yeah, it's, not, it's definitely not like it was before. This is... So, guys, you should try this. Honest <laughs> to God. It's just extraordinary.
It is oh, extraordinary. It's amazing. always extraordinary. We're very pleased to say that Carrie is here now alongside uh, Nick and Eva. Welcome, 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 welcome to you. Okay. Um, thank goodness your nephew got in touch with us because, you know, we have no clue where that would have gone. This mm. literally was life-saving therapy here. I genuinely did think of not doing the treatment. And so now you spoke to them and you said that the, you had an hour uh, mm -hmm. in that particular session. How do you feel now? Because you have continued now, oh, you yeah. started I've, your treatment. I've done, my, I've done my chemo, I've had surgery, and I'm absolutely, completely... These people have really changed my life. It's extraordinary, isn't it? Because it was just that moment, and we saw it there with our own eyes, of realising that when you were 12 and 13, mm. what you saw at that moment, you made a connection with something scary and, yeah. and horrible, when actually it was completely the opposite of that. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what Nick and Eva explained to me. And literally within an hour, yeah. it had just completely... Gone away. I mean, it wasn't... It took time, as, as Nick and Eva both know, because they came to my first chemo and I was quite jumpy on my first which chemo. Anybody which anybody would be, was naturally, yeah. anyway. Yeah. yeah, I think that anybody would be apprehensive. Yeah. But that was... When you've had a phobia for so long, you do actually lose concepts of normality, yeah. which is, I think, where, where Carrie was. But I actually thought you were incredibly brave. Mm. Um, and you are cancer-free now, aren't you? Yeah. Which well, is... Well, that yeah. is yeah. 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 the best yeah. There can't be anybody yeah. that goes through a first session of chemo and isn't nervous. Absolutely. Mm. No, not Absolutely. at all. Anyway. And the thing with, with Carrie, she had no reference for medical procedures because the reference that she had prior to that w was the wrong one. Yeah. So when we changed it, she was sort of starting afresh. Mm. And so how common is this sort of phobia? Do you know what? It's mm. really, really common. Uh, it's certainly in the top ten of phobia inquiries that we receive. Uh, and one thing that, that can totally change this, and, and we don't realise as parents, if we need a procedure and we're in hospital to explain to our children, look, this is a good thing, yeah. this is helping, uh, because children can get distressed seeing the parents in a hospital bed in those situations, and we see it many times, it's, it's you know, in a and, similar and situation. And are always based upon a misunderstanding. Mm. So it is really just important to explain, and that's literally all we did with Carrie, was that Carrie had seen a situation, um, she thought it was something that was really negative, so she misunderstood. But it's also the language you use, what you just said then about children. I think sometimes when you take children for an injection, you're going to have to be really brave now, insinuates that it's going to be Such something that's point. going to hurt. Very yeah. true. Yeah. Going, whereas if Very you're true. going to say, now, this is going to make you strong, it's going to help you, exactly. it's going to, you know, you just... Cha it's changing the language, changing the way you dress it up, in a way. Completely, mm. completely. And I think uh, Carrie's a great inspiration because, you know, you, you show that you can get through it and, uh, obviously, you're better. A yeah. bit more to when's, the, um, when's the holiday plan? The holiday is on 10th of May for three weeks. Oh, how yeah. nice. How do you feel about yeah. that? Um, I'm so beyond excited. I'll bet you <laughs> beyond excited. Oh, yeah. I three bet you are. Three weeks on a beach, yeah. um, It's lovely to have you here. Oh, thank you very and much And stay well. Me. Yes, thank yeah. you very thank much you. indeed. And well done, you two. Again, you. well done. Incredible. Yeah. Thank As you. Always, amazing. Thank you.